song is called Burning Ab Ambitions. Um, this is a record from the Iron Maiden box set, which I'll introduce in its entirety. entirety. Um, pretty cool stuff. This I'm uh, just going to show you the Paul Diano uh, bit here. <coughs> Also sings We've Got the Fire from um, Montrose. Montrose Band. What's interesting to see here in the background, there's a, uh, looks like Hammersmith. We've got Scorpions. You have a, uh, Priest, you got Led Zeppelin, so we all know um, that he passed away on October 21st of this year at age 66, yeah, he was, Paul, he was born Paul Andrews, Deano is his stage name, <clears throat> And he had a whole, he was had a whole bunch of gangs, uh, Gog Magog, um, Paul Diano's Battle Zone, uh, Killers, Rockfellas, Architects of Chaos, Warhorse, Praying Mantis. You can also try to get the DVD. There's two DVDs here. Um, if you want to see him live in concert? Uh, Paul, uh, Live at the Rainbow, 1981, and uh, Beast Over Hammersmith in 1982. So those are all videos with Paul in them. Really cool to watch. Um, great singer. And, as you know, this is all Paul Diano's uh, stuff, too, from, you know, another piece of the um, record box set. Some more Paul Diano stuff. There he is. Main Japan, Main Japan cassette tape. A little oldie. Be a while, eh? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. I've got some Iron Maiden records. I don't have no Paul stuff except this is the only stuff I have from him. <clears throat> this was a cool find when I was a teenager. Um, I think it's a German import. Yeah, it is. It's a 12 inch Twilight Zone and Killers. Oh, pretty neat. Is made in Japan. Iron Maiden's first album. This is gold. This is gold right here, man. My favorite. 
My favorite Iron Maiden albums, my favorite Paul Diano is like Iron Maiden, the first one. It's even better than the, the Killers, but both of them are, are just awesome. Uh, they're both nice and heavy, um, beautiful albums. Um, must have for any headbanger collector out there. But uh, he has recently done, um, yeah, a new, uh, some new songs, LP, CD, I mean CD, whatever. Whatever, can't keep up the technology and I don't really follow it. I collect fucking CDs and that's where I stop, you know, CDs and, and records, you know, but, you know, anything else music-wise I don't do. Um, but yeah, there's a... Uh, he uh, put out an album with a uh, new album with uh, called Paul Diano's War Horse Band, and uh, he was doing, he was doing or planned to do or a beast the Beast Resurrection tour, um, 2022, 20. 23, 24, 25, something like that. The years. Uh, Gonna cover like four continents over 120 shows. All the shows of that four were were held after Paul's arrival in Croatia for a long, long treatment with um, with the aim of saving his life and getting him out of the wheelchair. And. Uh, Due to a sudden death, uh, the tour got cancelled. And, uh, yeah, another great legend. Uh, only 66, which is young. It's young age. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have any Paul Diano albums. But, I wanted to do something about, uh, you know, Paul's passing. Although you, you guys probably checked out videos upon videos about about him and all that. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to play one of his, one of the heaviest Arden Maiden songs ever done. And this was with Paul. And it's called Invasion. And like and subscribe, support the band. Thanks for watching, and uh, R.I.P. Uh, Paul Andrews. Here we go. I'll leave some links down below, down below Paul Diano's website and everything. Check them out. Lots of info. Here's a real headbanger for you, folks. I mean, super headbanger, because he had that kind of punk, punk heavy metal style. Let's start it all over again. Chaos happens with rock and roll sometimes. You know, rock and roll can get very chaotic. 
Let's go. Come on.